I'm going to talk about mobile homes versus apartments. And I'm going to give you the real information as far as I understand it in mobile homes versus apartments. There are a couple of problems with apartments that people don't like. The first one is any money that you put toward an apartment, it's gone. You'll never see that money again. It doesn't go into an asset that you can get the money back from. This is the problem with all renting. Renting just means you, you pay for that space and that money is taken by the person who supplies the space for you to rent. You never own any piece of it. Now in a mobile home, you have a combined owning renting situation when you own a mobile home in a park. So the rent that you pay called lot rent to the mobile home park you know, you, you're not going to see that again. And what you get back for that is usually water, sewer, trash removal, snow removal, sometimes basic cable TV, sometimes swimming pools. They also pay all the property tax on the mobile home. That doesn't mean that you're not going to pay the county school tax, uh, which is a, a tax that's paid a lot in Delaware, Delaware counties. But the property tax itself, the park is paying. But when you pay for the home, you now own an asset. There are two schools of thought on mobile homes as an asset, and one of them is that they depreciate like a car. Well, this is not actually true because, as you can see, a mobile home is not a car. A mobile home is a home, and since 1976, they have been built to HUD standards. That's the Housing and Urban Development um, section of our federal government. They're pretty stringent in their standards, and they're built very well. These mobile homes only go down in value when the owner neglects the home and lets it fall into disrepair, or it's very you know, needs a lot of cosmetic handling. Let's put it that way, right? But in themselves, mobile homes do not have to deteriorate. So lately, because more and more mobile homes have been being remodeled, there's actually an entire nationwide mobile home appraisal company that does appraisals on these remodeled mobile homes, just like on a regular home. So the value of the home isn't necessarily preordained by the date of when it was manufactured. It is, what kind of condition is that house in? You know, if it's got a new roof and a new heater and a new air conditioner and all new furnishings and all new, you know, flooring and appliances, I mean, it's worth a lot more than one that's just been let run down, obviously. Isn't that so? So that is one of the things about mobile homes that you need to know. Apartment, the money's just going to go away. I've seen people take great care of their mobile homes for many years, and for some reason have to sell them and get a very nice price back for that mobile home. Plus, the advantage over an apartment is you have your own lot, you can have a garden, you can have a deck, you can enjoy the outside, you're not so hemmed in by neighbors. And it's more of a community of people. Also in a mobile home, no stairs, no elevators. It's all on one floor. Ideal for when you know you have a little problems with your knees or getting upstairs. In terms of crowds and feeling crowded, apartments definitely give you that feeling, especially huge apartment complexes give that to me. I lived in a very nice one for some years. I was very happy with uh, the management of that apartment complex, but I did feel crowded a lot, and there were lots and lots and lots of people I just didn't know. Now, in a mobile home park, you have next door neighbors, and you get to know your neighbors, and you get to know the people in the community. The management in a well-run mobile home park is right there, and services whatever needs arise very well. There are things that are peculiar to a mobile home to know, such as you know, making sure you have heat tape so pipes don't freeze in winter. You are a homeowner in a mo mobile home, which is entirely different than when you're in an apartment. You know, if something, you know, at some point goes bad or breaks, yes, you'll have to fix it, just like when you own a regular home. But there's a certain amount of joy in owning your own property, and the overall cost of a mobile home compared to an apartment is the biggest winner of all. If you include the lot rent and the cost of, say, a you know, $25,000 single white on monthly payments, and you say that's going to be $950, and you've got a really nice three-bedroom, two-bathroom home in a neighborhood with neighbors and an asset you're going to own, 
Compare that with a three-bedroom, two-bathroom apartment and what you would pay for it. In northern Delaware, that would be about $1,700 a month. Compare that to $950 a month. I mean, it's an outrageous comparison. You can sell the mobile home at any time that you want to. And it's not as hard to sell a mobile home as a lot of people think. I know a lot about that. I'm going to post some videos about that to make it easier for people to sell. Thanks for listening to me tonight. Have a great night.